Hello, Mr. Curry. So great to see you, sir. And Mr. Proudfoot, great to see you too. Well, first of all, I just want to thank you uh, for, for stepping up with Shaquille to get behind Miss Harris and, and her incredible story in this film. It means, it means so much uh, to the entire team and, and of course, to, to Miss Harris's family as well. The honor is mine, Ben. Uh, I'm so proud to be on this team and you guys really made a beautiful, beautiful film. Thank you. I'm, I'm honored to be working with you. Uh, so, so let's talk about the film. So, so tell me, you know, going back to the beginning when you first saw the film, what stood out to you? What was your reaction to Lucy's story? And why, why did you think this was an important story to tell? Well, uh, besides it being just an amazing film that uh, captured my heart, really it's about, I think, two things, uh, recognition and representation. Mm. I couldn't believe that I hadn't heard of the story of Lucy Harris, uh, which made me you know, sad and upset as well. But a big part of this is getting the world to recognize Miss Harris for her incredible achievements and pioneering the game of basketball, not only for women, but for people like me. Uh, Shaquille and I stand out on her shoulders and the world needs to know her name and recognize her face. Yeah, for sure. I think second, it's about representation and how much that matters. Uh, especially for kids like my daughters. I want them to know the story of Lucy Harris and I want them to feel what an amazing role model and record breaker she was. Um, this is about amplifying Lucy and her voice and her story. In, in the film, um, Lucy tells the story of saying no uh, to the NBA. Did that surprise you? What, what was your take on that moment? I think it did and it didn't. Uh, you know, she said she thought it was a publicity stunt, and you know, to me, I understand that. It's not so much that she didn't think it was serious, but that she didn't personally want to become a, pro a publicity stunt. And the best female basketball player in the country at the time, if not the world, is definitely not a publicity stunt, and she should be considered a national treasure. I can also really appreciate her commitment to her family as well, and. That's something you know that's very important to me, also. So, so as as one of the the greatest, if not if not the greatest, living basketball player yourself, when you watch Lucy play, when you saw the footage, what what did you think? What was your take on how she played the game? Why why was she so good? I was just amazed at how consistent she was. You know pushing it down the court, uh, passing Lucy in the paint. She just, you know, throw it in the basket every single time. You know, she was physical, relentless. Uh, she had touch that was very natural, and I respect that. And she was just dominant. And you could see, you know, with all the footage in the film of how dominant she was on the court. Mm. I, it, it, it's awesome to hear your analysis of it because, I mean, when I first saw this footage, it was like, oh, my God, this, this is an amazing – athlete and I think when people see it it will start to close the gap uh, between Lucy's significance and and how well known she is now that's crazy Ben that's crazy I found all this footage it's crazy how you put it together and you know help tell the story that everybody needs to hear so now the world will now the whole world will know about Queen Lucy so to the Oscars and beyond I'm in this for the long haul and let's keep closing that gap Amen. Let's go. Thank you so much.